Ricky, the Old Dominion Monarchs. Ricky Ronnie finally gets to coach his first game. This will be his second season at the helm, but they closed up shop last year. They folded up the tents. They said, nah, we ain't risking it. We don't have the money for tests and all that good stuff, so we are not worried with it. Uh, serious, serious rebuilding. Um, the team is going to be awfully inexperienced this year, but they do have 31 three-star recruits that he has signed in the last two classes and 15 Power 5 transfers. That means that they are going to be talented. Ricky they're going to be, knows they're gonna be experienced and talented, even though it's not returning experience. Well, no, no, I'm saying like they, it's from the last two classes, like those yeah. three stars that are coming in. It, before that, I think they had signed like a total of five three stars in in the they got four a years tough schedule, that. though, man. Oh, they certainly do. I'm I mean, going, they've got one of the most difficult schedules in this conference. The win total is three and a half. Yeah, I was okay. about to say it had to be low. Hey, well, uh, Middleton to say, were you going under four and a half? No, I went you're going over. five. I'm oh, sorry. Going over. I went over. I don't know if we talked about that or not. I don't think we did. But no, over I, on Middleton, I, I want over. Old Dominion three and a half. Three and a half, man. That's going over is minus one fifty. Okay, <laughs> going under is plus one twenty. Now here's the deal. Mm. FPI has them projected at two and ten. Yeah. SP Plus has them projected at five and seven. Whoa, that's a big difference. See, I, I think I'm, I think I favor the FPI. It's some same. of that's just because they don't have the gimmies that that some of these other schools have. And what's funny is, is a lot of these conference USA schools are taking checks. You yes, know, they're yes. going to Vod Tech and they're getting money. Like, I don't think. I don't think Liberty's paying you a check. I don't think Buffalo's cutting you a check to come play them. I mean, they're they're cutting you a check, but it's it's not two million dollars that Alabama no, would cut you. It's pennies on the dollar. You know, uh, I will tell you this: <laughs> the reason Tech's paying a lot more than Buffalo. Yes, uh, the reason why a lot of people think that Old Dominion could go over here: one, there is talent on the on the schedule From or the on the roster, uh, and two, they've got six opponents that are projected to finish number one fourteen or worse Ooh, in SB Plus. That's not good. That's not good. So you're talking about bottom. 15 teams. Yeah, but if like O Dominion is also a bottom 15 exactly, team. Exactly, right? Then uh, I guess that means there's a couple of coin flip games. They got who, a couple of gimmies. They just need to win one or two coin flip games. Do you know who the new quarterback is? No. It, it, so he's one of the transfers, right? He is. Yeah. UCF transfer Daryl Mack Jr. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Played against uh, LSU. Yep. You know, played pretty well until uh, Dylan Gabriel took over for yep. him a I couple years ago. I was about to say he, yeah. he lost his job. So, yeah, I mean, he lost his job, but I think he could do well at Old Dominion. Probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is definitely a big step down in class. Yes. He'll be fine. I am going under the three and a half. See, I think I, I, think I got to. Yes. I, I think the schedule's tough, and and I don't know they're winning a lot of coin flip games. They're, the games that, that would be toss-ups for them um, – they, they've got a lot of them on the road, and that's what I don't like about it. I think it. it's so hard to sit out a season when yes. everybody else got to play last year, and the last time you hit somebody was two years ago. Yes. That's like, I think rough. that's I think by the end of the season, this like war of attrition is going to matter for teams that didn't play. Yes. yes. Now, I might be wrong, but I'm basing all of my logic on being right. <laughs> I like it. I don't even know. I like it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.